In good health, as many as 30% of patients with higher than normal blood pressure readings experience what's called white coat hypertension. It's a phenomenon where a person's blood pressure is increased only when they're at the doctor's office. Dr. McGeorge here to explain why it's important to recognize that as a health crisis. Exactly, Karen and Jason. So, you know, a recent study found, although white coat hypertension means that your blood pressure is normal when you're at home and not at your doctor's office, it is actually still a marker of underlying risk. And left unmanaged, it does increase a person's risk for heart disease. Still, you don't want to over-treat it. When your blood pressure at home is noticeably lower than it is at your doctor's office, you may be experiencing white coat hypertension, widely believed to be caused by anxiety. Seeing a doctor just causes some people stress. If your blood pressure is falsely elevated, then you may be prescribed medicines that you're not supposed to be on if that is not your true blood pressure. But there are simple things patients can do to make sure blood pressure levels are accurate. A proper blood pressure would be you not talking, and just relaxing. You want your feet shoulder width and flat on the ground and you're seated. I want you to have your arm shoulder width um, basically at the level of the heart and resting. And be aware of what can drive your blood pressure upward. Simple things like having a full bladder can raise your level by 10 to 15 points. Experiencing stress like being late or getting stuck in traffic before your appointment can also raise your blood pressure. Now, if you think you might have white coat hypertension, talk to your doctor about using an automatic home blood pressure cuff to really help determine if your high blood pressure only happens at the doctor's office or it's something persistent that needs to be treated. Often, white coat hypertension blood pressure problems can be managed with simple lifestyle changes, smoking cessation, less alcohol, improved diet and exercise routines. It doesn't always require medication, but you do need to pay attention to it because it can be a marker of an underlying heart disease yeah. or cardiovascular disease. And older people all the time will say that, you know, they get bad feelings when you go to the hospital. Only bad things happen, it's sort of, even though you right. know that's not true, but right. they have, you know, it's kind of a thing that uh, gets bad nervous, things happen. Yeah, you anxious. get nervous. Right, and it is important if you measure your blood pressure at home to measure it the same way every time and keep track of the numbers and tell your doctor. Yeah. All right, good advice, mm -hmm. thank you, doc.